Leafy was here. He's gone. <laughs> Leafy disappeared is here. Leafy yeah. is gone. Leafy's gone. Yo, we're gonna we're gonna talk all about this Leafy stuff. But first, I'm like right now as we speak in a fight with Mike. What's what's Mike's last name? I Malak. Can never... Malak. Before Malak. we get into this Mike bullshit, I just want to say, listen, Leafy has. Th- this is the first time Leafy's speaking about the whole situation on a public forum. Um, he's been completely silenced on YouTube, even to the extent I know he just did like an interview with you, Keem, on Drama Alert, which that video has since been hidden. I've looked all over the fucking place for a comment from you, and I can't find it, and I think that's really fucked up. But um, yeah, I did an interview. Letting us do it. We got you guys. So mom's basement holding it down yet again. Just wanted to say that. Now let's go on to this fucking buy bullshit. Spotify stock. Yeah. yeah, buy Spotify stock, people. Spotify is like it, it's the truth, baby. Right? It is the truth. It is the truth. Yeah, and, you know, I did an interview with Leafy on Dromaler, right? Uh, on Snapchat, uh, the video did very well. On YouTube, it only has a million views, and it was like they 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 shadow banned it, right? Like they don't want Leafy to have a voice. And I know YouTube saw that video because in the video, YouTube or excuse me, Leafy referenced his second channel, which was on YouTube. And within what was it, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes after the interview aired, that second channel got terminated by YouTube. So YouTube saw that interview. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. So fucked up. The critical yeah. video got two million views. Unlucky. Yeah. It just is what it is, man. Like, you know, people are searching Leafy, right? Like, that interview should have came up. It's you speaking on it, which we're going to get into. But, like, first, can I just talk about this mic yeah, thing? Yeah, go like, ahead. Blow off this thing. Go for it. I don't, I don't want to get into the details of the situation because I, I, don't, I honestly don't want to trigger anyone. Uh, but there was uh, a, another shooting, uh, police shooting uh, of an individual. And... I know in the state of New York that there are court cases on this, right? Like if you are uh, being arrested or whatever and and guns are drawn on you and you get into a vehicle and attempt to drive, the police can perceive that vehicle as a deadly weapon and they they can shoot at you, right? Like there's been court cases about this, right? I, I, I didn't make any point whether that was right or wrong. I just stated like that's kind of how it, it is and, and people should know that if you're ever in this situation, you should listen to commands because if you don't, like, you know, you could potentially get shot, right? I put out that statement and Mike... Uh, you know, the guy from the Logan Paul podcast, right? That guy responds to me on Twitter saying that if I don't see anything wrong with this, I'm either a racist or I'm stupid. I never said it was right or wrong. Like, so I called him out for virtual signaling because that's what he was doing. He was completely arguing a point against me that I never even made. Um, And then he starts just going off on, you know, things that I said 10 years ago, which I'm pretty sure everyone understands what I'm referencing. Um, And and just just being a horrible, horrible person. And I'm like, dude, you're just nothing but you're nothing but fake. You're a hustler. Like you literally uh, just use everyone around you for clout. You've always been a clout chaser. And then he starts popping off at the mouth. Ethan Klein or Mike? <laughs> he's, ta- he's talking about Mike. We had him on episode two, I believe. And I know you're friends with him, but like, I got such a bad fucking fake vibe from this guy. Like, I very rarely like dislike someone instantaneously <clears throat> when I first speak to them. But that was the case with this guy. Like, okay. I took an so, instant fucking dislike to this guy. So can I, I'll first respond to what Clown just said. He came into the whole situation. He sat down. Even before we came on, it was in person. I hang out with Mike regularly. I just saw him a couple nights ago. I do consider him a really good friend of mine. He is a good guy. I don't give a fuck what you guys say. He is a good guy. He is a hustler, but I don't see anything wrong with that. And he doesn't particularly hide that. He's very open about that. And the way he goes about doing that isn't super slimy or shady. But referring to what you just said as far as getting bad vibes from him on the show, he came into a situation where... He was instantly like on the defensive. Him and Keem don't get along particularly well, clearly. Um, you guys were fucking Both of us both of us have tried to get along with each other, but like I mean Keem was being pretty fucking civil. You guys were kind of shitting on his girlfriend for being a porn star. She's sitting right in the fucking room. You guys are you, the first thing he asked me, because I said, Mike, will you come on the show? He said, Yeah, but I really don't want to sit down and just get shit on for shit that Logan and 
and Jake have done, and we did that, like we did go to those points a few times, and that was a topic. I mean, you guys can go listen to the episode if anybody's listening to this right now and hasn't heard it. It's one of our biggest episodes and most acclaimed. Like people really fucking liked it. Um, so you can go listen to it for yourself. Well, the but- thing I didn't like about it was so much got so much of what I said got fucking censored. <laughs> It didn't get censored. It didn't get censored. Well, it got fucking deleted. What do you want to call it? It just got straight up yeah. evaporated. Listen, but but the point I'm making is he came into the situation and he was instantly in, in, the, in a defensive like position. If you came to fucking Boa's Steakhouse with us and we were all drinking and having fun and you were in LA and we went to dinner together, it'd be a totally different experience. Sure, sure. My, Mike's a fucking good dude. Can I continue? Yes, you can, but it's not fair to say you got bad vibes from him. Maybe you did. I'm sure he didn't get the fucking I mean, greatest I- vibes from you either. That's the one and only time you guys have ever interacted, and it was under like kind of intense circumstances. Of course, and we're bearing that in mind when I say that, but the fact fucking remains. We can get to that, but can I continue this story of what's going on between me and him right now? Because like, basically, I-, I called him out for for being a hustler and for clout chasing and virtue signaling, right? He then goes and responds that he doesn't need to clout chase because he's on Logan Paul's podcast and his girlfriend has like 20 million followers on Instagram and all that, and that his book sold 50,000 units units in, in the first week okay well let me just bring this up right I, I, if he's such a good person what is his book about his book is a story about how he used to be addicted to drugs and how he used to be a drug dealer right and then he ruined all this life all these lives by being a drug dealer right like I, there's countless lives that he, including he completely his ruined including, and his, including own. his own right and then he writes a story about it makes millions of dollars why doesn't he give that money If he's such a good guy, the money he made on the book to his victims, to the people whose lives he ruined by selling them drugs, right? Prove that to the internet you're a good person. And then, of course, he responds by trying to spin in saying, well, I give all the money I made off a drama or to to people's life side career or whatever his point was. No, I'm not a good person. I don't pretend to be a good person. I'm a bad person. I am Keemstar and everybody fucking knows it. I'm not a fraud. But you, Mike, you're a fraud. You go around, act like you're such a good dude while you're scamming and hustling everyone you hustle your logan you hustled your girlfriend you use her right if your girlfriend but listen but listen that's a, that they have a mutual like a mutual thing like logan uses him quote unquote uses him too i mean he kind of low-key helped save logan's career he was a huge part of that of his whole okay fuck up in tokyo okay. and well, uh, who- as far listen listen hold on hold on and it, it, as far as lana goes i don't know how like public this information is but i know for a fact that mike has helped really really helped like structure her life and um put her in contact with with good business people who aren't fucking completely ripping her off and like stealing all her money good like legal counsel shit like that so i mean it's well not ev- not, not everything in the world is black and white i'm just saying from my point of view this guy is constantly trying to virtual signal this guy is constantly trying to get likes on twitter by by saying these like you know the, the emotional response that will get him support and it's like it's just he's just doing more of what he always does he's hustling right this isn't fucking mike is not like a saint mike is not this like good guy out there everything is for a reason it's for likes it's for clicks and the, and the internet is designed that way we all have a motivation to i mean i'm out there like fucking starting fights and doing all this stuff for for entertainment pers- uh reasons to to entertain my followers like i get that shit but let's just call it what it is bro you came at me you misrepresented what i said for clout points and if you don't accept that and you keep manipulating i'll keep reminding everyone that you ruined so many goddamn lives mike when you were a drug dealer and then you wrote a book about it made a bunch of money and you're giving none of the money to your goddamn victims now i just got the fucking fake phony vibe from him like 100 percent. i know i'm basing this on one conversation that we had but i saw a clip the other day of you and uh, mike somewhere out in la you take the your masks off your face a sports car drives past really fast and then mike starts screaming saying my girlfriend's car is faster than yours and shit like that and i was like what the fuck is this 
What the fuck is that? I think he's just trying to be funny. I don't know. I, I say dumb shit in those little Hollywood fix videos all the time too. Doesn't mean. It doesn't, Look, we know. could go on and on Listen, about this. I mean, but really, like our viewer. Our honestly, vi- I, I personally think the Leafy, the Leafy situation is far more. Yeah, yeah. Our viewers, our viewers are saying, dude, let's talk about Leafy. So Leafy, what's going yes. on? Why, why do you think if you had to really guess, like, why do you think he went down? Was it, was it the Pokey made videos or was it the the person that I won't name? YouTube's a cuck. That's it. Well, they give you a sentence, right? They Ooh. they cite it as like bullying and harassment. Ooh. YouTube's just a shitty platform, bro. There's nothing much else needs to be said about it. I have to say, if I, if you don't actually know, that's a huge issue. Like that's not okay if you don't know specifically why you're fucking. It's it's the doctor disrespect issue. Like it's the same thing as doctor disrespect. He really does not know why he was terminated. The f- that's the. F- that's the first thing I'll say. If you don't know, if they didn't at least disclose to you exactly why you were banned, well, they give you a sentence, insane right? Insane they, they cite yeah, it as like you go to, and harassment. Yeah. If yeah. you go to my YouTube channel, it says that. But I mean, I tweeted at them and it got like 60k likes. They still haven't responded to it. I'm waiting for them to respond to see what I actually do next. But I don't know. I might like do like a show. <laughs> I might stream. Maybe a podcast. I don't know. Part of me kind of just wants to quit on this because, I don't know, like, I've quit in the past, like, multiple times, and it's definitely not the worst way to go, like, getting banned, and I kind of, like, dunked on, like, all the haters at the very end, too. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think it's I the worst way to posted, go. He posted a Twitter video um, the other day, right, after he got banned, showing the internet that he made four million dollars off of youtube with a 60 dollar mic <laughs> yeah it was a pretty like sick dunk after like because after i got banned there were so many people shit talking so again it's not the worst way to go how else is there you know how else do you quit leafy how do you feel about that leafy how do you feel about that right like when your channel was up and running like you didn't get that much criticism i know like xqc and destiny and maybe a few others like twi- these are twitch streamers right they came out and they said something like negative against you when you made the pokemon video right but when you got actually terminated there were so many people coming out of the woodwork to celebrate it and it's like it comes across like so fake Pussies, bro yeah why weren't you why are why weren't you saying Saying that when he had a channel it's so ridiculous i mean the guy that i won't name but you can name all you want uh i mean he's chirping but he didn't say anything for a hundred and what 40 days i mean we're just gonna i'm just gonna say it they're talking about h3 and this is the craziest this is where i'm like it's just unbelievable to me and i would i'm gonna assume that you were banned and completely removed off of YouTube for your Pokemon videos. And now I'll say with full confidence that I don't think your Pokemon videos were crazy like harassment. I watched all of them. It was all just bullshit. Like you're yeah. just a troll and like It's actually going after the thumbnails were pretty bad though. I don't think one I don't think one time you attacked her appearance or anything that she believes in or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, it was more so just like troll, like just trolling and like just honestly g- giving real criticism on how she handle has handled criticism and has ha- handled your situation, whatever. Well, see, if I had to guess, it would be the Ethan Klein video, the H three H three video he made, which was his last one, most recent. Well, that's one. even more egregious because my what I was getting at was the fact that H three can now speak on you talk about you like at least when you've spoken about people and quote-unquote harass people you're speaking on people who have a platform and have every opportunity in the world to respond Mm -hmm. to um to contradict what you're saying to like make their own points and now you are absolutely silenced you can't even go on a third party channel and respond Mm -hmm. you can't you know what i mean that's insane it's actually fucking crazy YouTube is absolute garbage. Dude, the three times this guy's shit talked to me, right? First time is when the Tommy NC shit happens, right? I'm public enemy number one. Makes sense, right? Second time, he buries the hatchet with me. He, like, comes out after we had the beef and, you know, the first time. Says, like, hey, man, I'm going to remove my video. The video was made just out of greed. He takes down the video, even makes a video saying why he removed the video. Four months later, he shows up in the iDubbbz video, right? iDubbbz can make a video on me, but he just shows up just being there, super toxic, whatever, man, right? So that happens. And then the third time is after I get banned. Bro, he's a fucking coward. There's really no other way of saying it. I can understand why that's your position. It would obviously bother the fuck out of me, too. No, he can do whatever he wants. It's up to him. 
but it's my stance on it. I think the fact that so many people are celebrating it, like literally like half of Twitter I saw pretty much 50% of people, they're kind of celebrating it and I think that's just fucked. Like, how can you celebrate that? Because it could. They don't like could, me. That's fair, but like the fact that they're so pro censorship is pretty funny. Yeah, and especially it's just based on people they don't like. Same exact situation with someone they do like. Uh, it's just going to be a double standard completely. Imagine if Drum Alert got shut down, right? Do you know how many people would come out of the woodwork and be like, "I never liked him." Like, dude, it would be even like someone replies to, say, no. to "Fuck you, Leafy." <laughs> was it? It was either Ethan's tweet or Slash's tweet. There was some reply saying, "Right." Okay, Keemstar next, please. Yeah. Yeah, the pro, obviously the pro censorship like stance is incredibly whack. I don't want to get misconstrued though either. I think Ethan should have the absolute right to talk shit about Leafy whenever he wants. And I think even currently his comments and stuff are completely fine. I'm not saying that anything he's done is wrong. He should be able to do he that. He can say whatever he wants. I just think it's crazy. That part of it that you are, you're banned. It's like, that's crazy to me that he can, like, I don't know. No, well, no, no, I don't no, think no, it had it's anything cr- to do with it, to be no, fair. It's, it, no, it's crazy. It's crazy that that person you were talking about, right, said absolutely talking about said absolutely nothing <laughs> had, said absolutely nothing when leafy was dunking on him for like 140 days and the minute his channel gets down then he wants to pop off at the mouth and, and, and poke fun you know to be fair though the one tweet where he's like you know i'd love to see leafy exist i think that was fun i thought that was pretty funny i even retweeted it but then he like started adding to it whatever man again it's up to him so what's next for you like you don't know why you've been deplatformed um you probably it probably happened for a reason like they probably did it on purpose right which means they're probably not going to reinstate your shit Mm -hmm. unlikely i would say probably unlikely are you going to maybe try to approach this shit legally Uh, i have no idea i know i kind of already said this but you know, like, I have mixed feelings on it. On one hand, I think that I kind of gave one of, like, the most fire exits as, like, a content creator that you can get, right? But on the other hand, I don't know. I was enjoying it as an outlet, right? So maybe I'll start streaming. Maybe open a podcast. I don't know. Maybe do, like, a show. I'm not sure. What well, kind I mean, of you, you have your Twitch, right? You could, There's so many different platforms that you could have a podcast on. Um, what would the show be? What would the show be? I have no idea. So when you say the word show, like what's in your mind? What's what's the first thing you think Thinking of? like a podcast or something like that. I could do something like on the stock market, right? But I'm still not entirely sure. I'm just waiting for YouTube's response. So, yeah. Yo, I have, a, I have an alternative, an alternative theory on why Leafy's channel got shut down, right? And it's a little bit of a story, but I think it's a good listen, right? So way back in the day, um, Leafy uploaded a video making fun of this guy called Mr. Black Magic or something. What What's his name? Mr. Black Darkness 666. Yeah, Mr. Black Darkness 666, right? Leafy uploaded a video roasting him and making fun of him. And he basically put a curse on Leafy. And I had that guy and Leafy on Drama Alert, right? Like, and they did an interview together and they finally made peace, but... Mr. Uh, Black Darkness, he never took off the curse of Leafy. And basically, he uploaded a video just a week ago, right? This is many years ago when they had this feud and he put the curse on him, right? Uh, He uploaded a video a week ago about the person I won't name, like an animation. And that was the same animation that Leafy used. That was Leafy's last video. And that was the... Yeah, yeah. And that was the reason which I believe his last video of why his channel got terminated. So I'm sorry, but it's like a crazy full circle level of irony. It's like a book the, story or something. The curse, the curse actually may have been a fact. His video actually got me banned, bro. I would assume that YouTube does not like you. Um, whoever's in charge of this whole, like, um, like the, the policies and, and the, the strikes and the ban- the channel bans or whatever, I would assume that they would ideally not have you on their platform. So they've probably just been piling shit up. You know what I mean? Enough strikes or enough like shit to just like... I thought it was going to be something like that because 
I mean, let's be honest, right? There's like two types of people. There's people that like, they try to stay within the like rules. And then, and I think that everyone in this like Skype call is definitely more in the pushing the rules category. So I always thought it was possible that I could get banned, but I didn't get like a strike, you know, combo or something like that, right? It was just suspension. I looked for like strikes, but nope. That's why I think that there's a very high chance I'm going to stay banned. Just because I, I wish they would just give a response on it, though. I think they will because it's five million subscribers that are just evaporated into thin air. No, they should. They should at least tell you that. I don't know if I'd put myself in the category of like necessarily wanting to push the rules or like I definitely like fucking push certain rules both on the internet and in my actual life. But I don't like try to do that or want to do that. But I am a big proponent of free speech and free freedom of expression on both sides of the spectrum, like totally. Mm -hmm. And I just don't like, I don't know. I don't like the attack on free speech right now. Like the, the current, like climate on the internet. Like I, I don't know. It's not even freedom of speech for me. I think it's just more like the freedom to make a joke, any joke you want within fucking reason. It's comedy. It's, it's literally that is that, well, that is, that is freedom of speech though. That is, that is a, you know, yeah, that's freedom of speech. But comedy is like the, the biggest fucking form of like speech. Freedom of speech. Look, the, the animation, the animation is not like a threat to Ethan or to that person's life, right? It's not a, a a threat to his wife's life. It's a joke. It's seen as a joke. It's a metaphor, and everyone gets it, right? Like when you're watching, you know. Uh, I could see that being the line, though, and not crossing that line because if that's the case, right? Yeah, like everybody has to follow the same rules. Then it'd be okay for someone's entire fandom to just go and say they're joking. And tell somebody to kill themselves. But he had a he had a warning on his channel. One warning. He had zero strikes. He should have received one strike for that video. There was probably another video up there somewhere that he should have received a strike on. Yeah, right? no, no. I totally, I totally disagree with how it was handled. I don't think that Leafy. The funny thing is, like, dude, my old videos were so much more crude. Right? Maybe my videos now are like, or like was since they all got banned. You know, like Terminator or whatever the fuck. I don't like they may have been more toxic, but like on the surface of my old videos were so much worse. It was just me picking like some random dude with like 10 subscribers and going after him. But my newest videos, I don't know. I don't think I crossed the line in my opinion, but obviously that's, you know, debatable. I definitely was close to the line, right? Um, you're hitting the recent points that they, the recent changes and updates they've made to their terms of service. So you've got yeah, that is a good that. point. There, there, yeah. there have been like new policy changes. They literally changes recently added that fucking are. line about calling people, you know, making, making fun, fun of the way, the way people, people look and shit. By the way, I don't think Ela looks like a fucking horse at all. I think it's well, I didn't like go after shit, her. Yeah. Like I don't know. I don't think it was that bad. I think there's definitely worse. But again, this is like. You know, I, I took a break for, like, multiple years, so, like, my view on the policies is obviously really outdated and whatnot. I know they've changed stuff and whatnot. I don't see a problem in calling uh, someone, saying someone looks like a fucking animal. It's just an animal. There's worse things to be called than a fucking horse. Um, but, yeah, I don't actually think she does look like a horse personally, but, yeah. I think it's a stupid rule. I mean, you're, see you're seeing it all over the place, especially in, like, the political, like, like um, the political area of youtube like people getting fucking banned deplatformed left right center and um i definitely don't most of it is like that all right like white supremacist like nationalist like garbage just crazy shit which obviously i don't agree with and i'm certain you guys don't either but <clears throat> my problem is i don't know it just the freedom of speech thing, bro. I just feel like every like that's it's a good idea and it's valuable to have that. And I would even argue that like, I don't know, like I personally have have gained and learned from bad ideas and seeing people do dumb shit almost just as much as I've learned from good ideas and hearing good opinions and people doing good shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's valuable. Let the consumers, let the viewers decide what type of content they want. I know that like. Again, YouTube is free to do whatever they want. I'm not trying to say that they broke the law or anything like that, but it is super fucking lame. But that's just my opinion. If you want censorship, go ahead. I think you're a fucking idiot. But I mean, okay, well, I mean, there should be certain lines, right? Like if you're, I don't know, like 
inciting violence. Yeah, you would like everyone get like you know everyone meet at the corner. We're gonna burn this person's house down or some shit. Well, well, right. yeah, that's where you cross the line of just speech and ideas to like a call to action. That's not okay. That shouldn't be okay. That's completely wrong. Like, but even the most foul, shitty, horrifying ideas. I think should be protected and I think people should be allowed to share those ideas and I personally have heard ideas like that and it's reinforced my opinion that they are shitty. You know what I mean? Like it's it's like it's like it's like it's like when you see when you're a fucking little kid and you see your little friend touch a hot stove and burn the shit out of his hand and cry and it fucks him up. You look at that situation. You're like, wow, like I'm not ever going to do that. That was a horrible idea. There's always those people online. They're going to be like, YouTube is a private company. They can do what they want. Okay. Yes, we get that. We understand that we all get that. Right. But some of these platforms, I think Twitter is probably the worst, right? Like some of these platforms like Twitter, YouTube or whatever have gotten so big. The only way, for you to have free speech really and to get up on a soapbox and preach what and say whatever you want to say is on the internet that's the only way you can connect with the rest of the people you know like well and on top of that it doesn't mean that you can't you know criticize youtube you know and be pro free speech and whatnot right doesn't mean that they have to do it by law but it doesn't mean that it's like criticism, you know? You get the idea. It's just like, it's a moral thing. I don't think, it, I mean, it's a private company and they can do whatever the fuck they want, really. They could they could shut all of our channels down tomorrow and there'd be nothing wrong with, well, there'd be a lot wrong with that, but legally speaking, wrong with that. Legally, there wouldn't be, yeah. Leafy, did you happen to see um, iDub's girlfriend? She made a spew of tweets. Uh, I can't really remember what they were, but they were, you know, I, do you remember them? Like, do, do you, you remember, remember what it was? Does? Yeah, she came out with some tweets basically saying, oh, I'm probably going to remember this wrong. But like, uh, iDubbbz knew he was taking a risk when he made those videos. If his channel got taken down, it would be unfortunate. But we knew the risk. Um, you know, at the end of the day, YouTube can do whatever they want. Like, he yeah, was. I hate that fucking line. I mean, if you walk into a Starbucks and they just don't like what you're saying and what you look like or whatever the fuck they can kick you out it's the same thing applies it's a private owned company and it's their building and it's their fucking starbucks they can kick you out everyone is going to have a problem with that but look like idubs and leafy have always had beef right like just why do, why does his girlfriend say something like that why don't you just say i don't like leafy and i'm happy that it got shut down because that's what you're really trying to say right <laughs> like like it's just her, obviously clearly her trying to say it without actually saying it because it's just a shitty opinion to have it's i just don't see i don't understand no matter what side you have no matter what your political views are i don't understand not wanting to protect free speech i don't understand that the truth of the matter is i I dubs, I dubs girlfriend, uh, the person I won't name, his wife, all four of them should be out publicly saying this is wrong. Leafy should have his channel back. And when you don't do that, you're just showing everyone how salty you are. Because look, I'm sorry, but if any four of you got banned off the internet, I would be defending you. And I think Leafy would too. Any one of us, we'd be as would I. As would I. I made a video on this YouTuber named Evalion like a long ass time ago, right? She made like straight of racist videos right like it's not like mildly racist i remember her genuine yeah. racism right when she got banned i even made a video saying that like she should still have a platform but a lot of people disagreed with me but this is like before you know censorship yeah i wouldn't say it wasn't an issue right there, there was always youtube's always been a pain to work with but i mean yeah I've, i think most people are on the well you guys know how much i don't like fussy tube right like the woman you just you just described leafy like obviously her ideas and views are fucking garbage but still like that's i don't know that's the thing should be a, she should be allowed to say them i've shared opinions and my and feedback too can like shape a person a person in their views and their opinions and that's an important part too you really want to change these people or do you just want to hide them away and have them fucking usually when you hide yeah, opinions like that, they actually grow even more. It just gets, yeah, they grow bigger and stronger and fucking, they go crazier. Well, that's like the whole right of like protesting and whatnot and why like most people agree. It's more healthy. Yeah. I, I've put opinions out there on the internet and had people been like, you're a fucking idiot. Like, don't say shit like that. And, and I've been like, oh shit, maybe I'm wrong. You know what I mean? Like that, yep. maybe that was stupid. What I'm saying is both sides, like what you said, Leafy, about 
the whole thing is they disagree, they don't like you, so they're happy about it. But that's the thing. Once you cross that line, it could happen to anyone, bro. Like if enough people disagree with something that you like or something that you want to say and you get fucking shut down for that, like then then that's when you're going to have a problem with it. Just stupid. Like, I don't know. I think there are very few exceptions for channels that should be removed. Like off the top of my head, Line Maker is one that comes to mind. But like he's the only one I can think of right now. He's a danger. He's a danger to his audience. He's physically dangerous. He's fi- that's physically dangerous. There's like, many people that argue that like, well, how do you know if someone's physically dangerous, right? Like I know it's a lot of the people that criticize me. They well, brought no, he, up like, one why kid. he was fucking with kids. He was actually fucking with kids. And he runs a Minecraft. I, well, well, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I understand like, that dude's crazy. But like. Like, I, I would make jokes about Pokemon. Like, there was some guy that was like, someone needs to kill Pokemon, right? And I responded to it, like, HDR recon scope, right? But the reason why is because the guy had fucking Ghost from Call of Duty as his profile picture. I looked at the dude's, like, Twitter. He's, like, tweeting out, like, kill feeds and shit like that, right? Like, Call of Duty montages. It was obviously a joke about Call of Duty. Everyone knows this, but his account got, like, fucking suspended, and now my channel's being suspended. Maybe that's why I got banned. Who knows? I know that, like, the h 3 H- I'm not surprised he got banned. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't personally cross that line, and I think that that... Like, there has to be a line somewhere. Well, I wasn't right? the one saying that Pokemon should be killed, but, like, I know what you mean. But, like... Yeah. Even then, like, I don't know. Maybe that's why I got banned, because, again, like, the Mr. Black Darkness video, his animation is still on YouTube. That was in the description, you know, of my, like, last video, so I don't... Well, if, if YouTube listens to this, then um, it, it's probably down. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Yeah. And listen, I don't want anybody to misinterpret what I'm saying or take anything I'm saying out of context because unfortunately, too, and I see this all over the fucking place, anytime someone does stand up for free speech or express their um, their support of free speech, that somehow gets twisted into, well, that means you agree with X, Y, and Z. That means, you, that means your ideas align with whoever you're trying to protect. Not true at all. Um, I'm not talking about what I personally believe in. Both complete sides of the spectrum, I agree, should be allowed to share those those opinions. That's, and certainly when it comes to know. jokes, like 99.9999% of them should just be allowed. They shouldn't be censored. Unless you make jokes, then it's okay. Yeah, I don't think, again, I, I, so long as it's not a call to action or incitement of violence, then you should be allowed to say whatever the fuck you want, no matter how terrible it is. It's just, it's so basic. It's such a basic fucking thing. I don't know. It's fucked up, but it's the world we live in. It's a lot more communist than I think, dude. No, no, there, there's, there really is like a movement for that, like in the world. No, there is. Like, it's like it's actually f- so fucked they should up. Move to China, bro. Yeah, China agrees with them. And it's, I swear, it's yeah. making, it's making, it's pressing the issue, and it's making it worse, bro. It's making it fucking worse. Like I just remember, like. And I just feel like I have to say this right now. I'm just going to give a quick, brief, like, scope of what I personally believe in. And it's very basic. I would say that I'm not I'm not left-wing or right-wing, really. I agree with, with things on both sides. I wouldn't really call myself a centrist either. I'm not, I'm not into labels. I would closely probably relate to liber- the libertarian um, ideology. But even that shit's weird, too. Basically, I believe that people should be able to do whatever the fuck they want, whatever makes them happy, so long as they're not fucking with anybody else's happiness or hurting anybody. Anything you want. Well, what about, well, based on what you just said, then Leafy should be stopped, right? Because isn't he messing with other people's happiness? Physically, no, no, he's not. I mean, you can shut your fucking computer and not listen to what Leafy's saying. I, okay, okay, yeah. I'm, okay, a, I'm a huge believer in free speech. No, I mean. I believe in communism. Let's just give it all to the government, bro. <laughs> making someone unhappy, making someone feel unhappy and like actually impeding on their happiness, actually stopping someone from being happy, like beating the shit out of them or stealing their property. Like, that's what I mean. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, well, someone could say like, well, Leafy's harassing people. This guy was really down over that, but I don't know. We're going to get like a bunch of shit regardless. The entire thing is a huge topic already, so I'm sure someone's already made the point. Maybe someone's putting it into a video right now.
I mean, I can think of just like one exception off the top of my head. When Robin Williams died, do you remember that? So people were like replying to his family and shit with jokes. Like some of those jokes, yeah, you shouldn't be allowed to make those jokes. You shouldn't make those jokes. But like those are the very few, very rare exceptions. I don't know if you could say allowed to because that brings it into a more legality. But um, yeah, ethically you shouldn't. Let's say ethically shouldn't. But that's like one of the very, very rare exceptions. Otherwise, you're like, feel free to make the fucking jokes you want and you should be able to make them. Yeah. You should just be able to do whatever you want and be happy. Everybody should. Straight people, tall people, women, men, trans people, everybody should just be able to be happy and stop talking about everybody else's fucking... I mean, I don't know. See, I don't want to fucking... I don't want people to misconstrue what I'm saying. What I'm saying is 10 years ago, I don't fucking remember anybody constantly talking about like what people look like and fucking what people you know what i mean like it wasn't an issue it never was in my mind at least like and i was i grew up in a very diverse place and that was where did you grow up lowell massachusetts oh, shit. are you talking about are you talking about race i mean i'm just talking about everything bro like i'm talking about race i'm talking about sexual preference i'm talking about everything like bro, i grew up in utah everyone was the same <laughs> thing was th yeah it, w that wasn't how it was for me and my experience in that was it was chill like everything was cool everybody was cool and like everybody has their own set of issues and i'm all about protecting fucking everyone's rights everybody should play on the exact same field everybody should be completely equal in the rights that they have um in that sense like where we all start and what we all have the ability to do um in the outcome but I mean, like left to i don't know i don't know do, am I next? Like, everyone, like, they keep trying to say they're shutting Keemstar down next. Do you really think that's true? Because I don't. I'm like, I don't break the rules. Or at least you shut you down before me, man. Honestly, Keemstar, if you were terminated I'm, tomorrow, it would. I would not be surprised. At this point, I would not be surprised. I don't break the rules, though. I don't really break but the rules. But that's not the point. Like, I'm just saying I would not be surprised if DJ Killer Keemstar was terminated tomorrow. That would be the biggest attack on freedom of speech and freedom of press that's ever happened on the internet. This motherfucker just texted me. Are you fucking kidding me? One minute. I'm, I got to use text to speech. You started this. Don't be a bitch in private. Who's texting you? Mike Malajakalaka. Mike. Whatever please, the fuck his please name is. Sa save it for after. We can't get back onto the mic thing. I don't know, man. I don't know. I I will say I, again. I want to say I watch your Pokemon videos and like. They weren't. They weren't that bad. I mean, I'm sure she didn't like them very much. And like, the worst thing I said about her appearance was like, I don't think she's that attractive. Personally, I didn't fucking like single out one attribute about her. I like again. The only points I really made was the on the censorship stuff. I'm not saying that it was like completely clean, right? But I don't think they were that bad in comparison to especially some of the older videos that I made. But as I said. You know, the policies have changed, the world has changed, whatever the fuck else, you get the idea. Leafy cannot survive on the platform anymore. What was the quote from Ethan? I would love to see Leafy try to exist in today's current landscape. Like, the content he was just making would never fly on today's... <laughs> I mean, he was, he was right. right. He, he was, was fucking right. right. He was fucking right. <laughs> he was right. Three days, so I'll take that as a dub. So, so what do we do now? Like, do we have to fucking conform to what YouTube expects of us? Can we not? Are we not able to make jokes? Are we not able to fucking swear? I don't have to. I don't post videos. Dude, that guy uploaded. That guy uploaded a whole video titled "Should Keemstar be deplatformed?" Have you seen this? No, I haven't. But see, dude, that's what yeah. the fuck I'm talking about. It's so scary, man. It's dude, sketchy. Dude, like this guy is literally pro censorship. Like, I, I, I. I can't believe why he would why he would and do yo, that. And yo, what these like, people fail to really understand is that the goalpost will continue to be moved further and further. Right. Back. It will. Like, let's just say tomorrow, every like um, every like opinion, whatever. We all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Everybody that most people would like to see deplatformed or think has too extreme of a of an opinion or view or cr dances that line. Let's just say they all get completely taken off right tomorrow. The goalpost will be moved. It'll go from that to something else, and everybody will hop onto something else and find a problem with something else. And well, I think what's important is that we celebrate uh, platforms like Spotify that allow us to speak freely, right? Like uh, we gotta start. We, we got to start backing and supporting platforms that allow people to talk, right? Like, you know, 
people have the you know they they vote with their viewership right if i'm saying something messed up that you don't agree with don't watch the show anymore right let the people decide let the people vote but the platform shouldn't be in there like silencing people i feel like people as a whole don't get enough credit like most people are good you know most people want to see other people be happy and do okay you know just I mean? don't like, agree with that at all that I is think true. It's the exact clown. opposite. Like, I mean, I mean, genuine. I mean, genuine ha- clown. Would you? Okay, all of you guys. This is a question for all three of you. This is a question for all three of you. Would you rather see a grandma cross the street and be on her way and have a happy little day, or would you rather see her get hit by a bus? Like, if you could just choose. Pretty extreme example. Pretty extreme. Example. I mean, it is, but it still fucking proves my point. Uh, just I, answer the I question. I would rather have. I would rather have. <laughs> You're a fucking oh cocksucker. Listen, you guys know I would rather have her have a good day. Okay. I mean, most people would, right? Like, it has nothing to do with you. There's nothing. No, I know. I know it's a joke. That's an example, like, fit for a fucking sociopath. Dude, Cloud, you you genuinely think most people on the planet have ill intent just want to see the fucking world burn. You actually believe that? I'm not that? really like ill intent as to as like they just want to see people suffer or anything like that. But I don't think they want to see other people succeed. No. Well, what they want is they want to make money, and the way they make money is by giving the consumer what they want, right? Whether that be a video or a product, you get the idea. But they're going to keep doing whatever works. I would say, like, over half of people, most people don't want their neighbor to be successful, or rather, they would rather be more successful than the neighbor. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, that's co- that's com- competition, though. That's that's stupid. It is stupid to think that way. I do agree. Most people do think that way. I think banks. I think has. I think banks has a point, right? Like, I'm just saying neutrally, like new in a neutral sense. Most people want the b- want the best forever or forever. Not your direct competition. Not your fucking neighbor. Most people. There's seven billion people on the planet. Most people. The majority, 90% of the earth doesn't exist even in the fucking US. So what I'm saying is like a person halfway across the planet, if you could just hit a button and make them have a happy day, make them have a neutral day or make them have a shitty day. Why not just press the happy button? Like, Okay, well, apparently Leafy's audacity, uh, audacity crash. What am I saying it wrong? Audacity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm here to save the fucking day though. We had the Skype back up, so... We got it. We're good. That was too good to not. We we got to just run it. So you guys have still heard yeah, the whole thing. I mean, again. we covered all the stuff with Leafy's channel uh, being taken down. Um, do you think there's anyone else on YouTube uh, that should be taken down? Like, Obviously I, not. I, <laughs> DJ Keemstar? I felt like I always felt like J Station was a danger to the entire platform because he had, why. He had, uh, well, because he had ads on videos that were clearly wrong that advertisers would not like, and I always thought that that would like cause another ad apocalypse. Well, that could be the case with so many other people that I don't think should be banned. So. No, no, listen, listen. It's a. Fu- this is the whole fucking point, right? It's a slippery slope, dude. He should be allowed to post as trash as his content is, as foul as he is as a person. He should be allowed to post. If YouTube wants to take fucking ads off videos or whatever, like I, I could agree with that. Advertisers should have the full ability to like not advertise on a shitty channel like J Stations, but he should still have the right to post videos. Well, and, like, when my videos eventually come out, I'll ask you that same question again. I'm not going to give you an answer now, but uh, I want your answer when they're finally fucking when your out. Your videos eventually come out, you're going to get banned too, and then Keemstar, and then Face yeah. Banks. Unless he was using said f- platform to fucking touch little kids or like fucking oh, no, talk, no, no, to, no, 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 talk no, to kids no. or. Um, Look, I, I want that, everyone. That's I, my position. I want everyone listening right now. I want everyone listening right now. That's a uh, potential fan of me or whatever. Um, make a Storyfire account. Follow me over in Storyfire um, because, like, look, dude. God forbid something like that does happen and I get banned. I mean, that's where I'll be. I'll be on Snapchat. I'll be on Storyfire. I'll be on Spotify. I'll be on Twitter. You know, like the 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 saddest thing that happened with Leafy is he wasn't able to re- promote another platform of where he is on the internet. So he lost basically communication with five million fans, all like that. And I don't want that to happen to me or to anyone else. You know. Honestly, good advice for anyone, any YouTuber, really. Just make as many platforms as you can. Upload on as many websites as you're able to. 
um, because you never know. And the same thing. As a viewer, uh, make accounts on as many platforms as possible so you don't lose contact with the people that your fans are. I have a little bit of a differing opinion. I would say, unless this is your fucking job, bread and butter, if this is how you support yourself and your family, just shut them all down. Get as far away from social media as possible because it is the wackest thing that's ever happened to humans. And I can't wait until I can just get the fuck away from it. Honestly, cut that. Cut no, that. 100%. No. Uh, okay, no, so you're not gonna season censor, two of Bob's. Well, hold on. You're not going to fucking Season two me. of Bob's Basement. We're replacing banks. We're replacing You're banks. not going to fucking censor me, motherfucker. It, listen, it was okay, kind of leaving. a joke. It was kind of, I, My whole life exists on the internet, but I'm just saying, like, I, I just want to give one last little thing about, like, where I stand with this shit. I just wish everybody would respect each other's opinion and freedom to share that opinion. La- you don't have to like Ladies it. Ladies and gentlemen, phase stock has crashed. <laughs> Why? What did I say that's wrong? <laughs> what did I say that's wrong? Please tell because me. Because phase clans and money comes from, you know, people on the internet. So I can't fucking joke now. W- weren't you guys all just talking about we can respect jokes and shit? You guys suck, man. Like, <laughs> fucking hell. We're also joking at the same time. True, true, no, true, no, no, no. true, true. But, but honestly, Banks wasn't joking because he really does hate social media. That's why he's rarely on I just it. hate, no, I don't hate social media. I think social media is incredible. It could be, you. it's done a lot of really good things. I just think that the way people use it and interact with it is fucking... Man, look, I could tell you, I could tell you as a, a friend and a fan, Banks, man, all your fans miss you, dude. You I miss be, them. What, need, what the fuck do you think I'm doing Internet right now? We're, we have a great show. We're here every week. Yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah. awesome. I love this. I'm just saying, like, the, the other platforms, like, you know, yeah, you need yeah, to be yeah, more yeah. active on, man. Like, yeah, you yeah. got to be. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Hey, we're going to leave it there. But before we go, Leafy, tell everybody that's a Leafy fan out there where they can find you. Uh, Twitter and Instagram. And the Instagram prison, is, hopefully. Yeah, and prison. But the Instagram is Leafy is Lucky, not so lucky right now. <laughs> and the Twitter is just Leafy. You can fit that into the... I paid guys, quite a bit of money for that. Guys, go follow Leafy and we will see you next week.